Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a speech-to-text program where you can talk to the microphone and then the program is going to take in your audio and then call a Google API to translate that into text and then save that into a text file. It's a pretty simple project, but it's pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how to build that step by step. So you're going to learn a whole lot at the end. So without further ado, let's get to it. And for today's tutorial, we're going to use PyCharm as our editor, but you can use other editors like VS Code and stuff as well. If you want to use PyCharm, you can go to the website, the download page, and then scroll down, you can get the free version, which is the community version. Hit download based on your OS system, and then just follow the instruction to install it. So we're going to open PyCharm, click on new project, and then choose the location where you want to save the project. For me, I'm going to choose tutorial, and then hit open. And then I'm going to choose a project VN and then in my machine I have Python 13 installed but you can choose your own version. Hit create. Okay so it creates a empty folder for me for the project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Python file. I'm just going to call it main but you can call it whatever you want. But before we can get started on writing the code we need to install the couple of libraries that the program is going to use. So I'm going to open terminal. So the first library we're going to install is called speech recognition. So I'm going to do pip3 install speech recognition. Okay, so that is done. And the second library that we need is Pi Audio. But before we can install that, we need to install two other things first. The first one is Python 3 Pi Audio. So I'm going to do brew install Python 3 Pi Audio. Okay, so that's done. And then the second thing that we need is called port audio. So I'm going to do brew install port audio. It seems like I already have that in my computer, so I don't really need it. And now I'm going to install the Pi Audio library. So I'm going to do pip3 install Pi Audio. Okay, so that is done as well. So now we are ready to write out the program. First thing first, let's do the imports. And then we're going to define a couple constants. The first one is recording time in seconds. Uh, let's do 30 seconds of recording time and then define where we want to save our text. So output file name, let's just call it output.txt. So we're actually going to create this now before we forget. And then we're going to define our recognizer. And then we're going to define our main method like this. First, we're going to print out a start the program is starting. And then we're going to set the start time. Next, we're going to do with microphone as microphone. So we're going to open up a microphone to listen. And then we're going to adjust for some ambient noise so it's clear. We're going to set the duration to be one second. And then print out something when it's done. So it's actually listening right now. And then we're going to do while we haven't reached the recording time yet. We're going to let the user know what the remaining time is. And then print it out and let them know on the screen. So what this means is that after we print it out, when the next line comes in, this one is going to disappear. So it's not going to interfere with our actual text. And then we're going to do everything in a try catch block. So we're going to define a audio, uh, whatever it listens to it. We're going to pass in the microphone that we're going to use, which is just the computer microphone. We set the timeout to be five seconds. What this means is that if no one speaks anything to the microphone within five seconds, it's going to time out. And then the phrase time limit, uh, let's do 10 seconds. So if it's more than 10 seconds, we're going to start a new sentence for it. But you can customize the time the way you want it. So we're going to recognize the text. So we're going to define this function later so don't worry about it yet now so after we get the text from the audio we're going to save the text to a text file and we're going to define this function later too but right now let's get the skeleton done so if we have an exception that is a timeout error we're going to print out something like listening timeout while waiting for a phrase to start and then if is other generic exceptions uh, we will just print it out what the error is, but you can customize your error handling the way you want. And then we're going to wait a little bit before we try, maybe like half a second. Okay, so the skeleton is done and now we're going to define these two functions. 
let's also print out uh, when it's done as well so the user knows finish recording transcription save to just the output text file name cool now let's define the two other methods or functions the first one is recognize speech that takes in audio input from the microphone we're gonna do everything in a try catch block as well here so the text is gonna be recognizer we're gonna use the google api to do it and then we're gonna construct a timestamp on when this is recorded because i think that's important to a lot of applications format let's do hour minute and second but you can define it in other formats as well like including the dates and and stuff but this is enough for the demo and then the time which is just local time and then we're going to print out the text that we transcribed like that and then we're going to return just the timestamp plus the text if we get an exception that is unknown value uh, we are not going to print out anything and if it's an exception of request error we're going to print out something like speech service error and then if the exceptions just return none okay so that is done for the recognize speech function and then now we're going to define save text function this one is even simpler if we have something in the text file or in the text input we're going to open the text file and then we're going to write a text to it okay that is done it's a very simple program so now let's test it out so i'm going to open my terminal clear everything hello hello testing testing this is a test can you hear me okay so it seems like it's working now and it's printed out how many times how many seconds is left okay it's pretty cool all right time's up okay so it seems like everything's working uh, it's able to take in my audio input and then transcribe that into text and let's go to our text output file and see it's like okay hello hello start testing blah 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 can you hear me um uh, yeah that's exactly what i said and it's able to pick that up so it's pretty cool and this is it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something helpful and if you like this video i hope you can give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video